Hello and welcome. You're at Values, Vision, and Mission. I'm Rebecca Rose. I'm a certified veterinary technician. I live in the United States and I'm the president and founder of Catalyst Veterinary Professional Coaches. You may know that your career is in your hands. What's difficult to understand is how do we morph it into the career we want and create that vision for ourselves, for our life, and for our career. During this process, in which you will be receiving handouts, I'm asking you to be bold, be bright, and be courageous. What's so amazing about our veterinary community is that we are made up of a kaleidoscope of colors. And it takes all of these colors, these skills, these passions in making a veterinary team, delivering quality care and having a fulfilled life. What we're creating are guiding principles, that rudder, if you will, that will guide our career and our lives, defining them being really clear about them. Because if you don't know where you're going, any route will get you there. There are benefits to creating guiding principles, to clearly defining your personal and professional values, vision, and mission statements. They include clearly communicating the direction for your life and your career help make day-to-day -day decisions, keeping you focused, Lord knows I need that, staying motivated. These are the benefits of writing down with pen in hand, your personal values, vision, and mission statement. Clarity is an amazing thing. Moving into your personal beliefs, these are defining your values. Values are beliefs we hold dear to us, allowing us to find direction and drawing to us others within, with similar values. When we know what we cherish and identify aptitudes and attitudes, we draw more of that to us. Now, these are examples of my values, things that I hold dear. I definitely value relationships. I embrace opportunities to be creative. I love to problem solve. I do appreciate sustainability. And I do like to see people who are courageous, and I like to live courageously. Now, examples for veterinary team members may be that you're delivering quality medical care, that there's communication and follow through within your days. These are things that you value. In your worksheet, you will be stepping through a series of questions. What do you believe about being a team member, serving pets? and pet owners. And there's a series of questions. What do you believe about being an efficient, skillful veterinary team member or in an organization that delivers quality medicine? What do you hold dear to you? What about values related to your time? What are your driving forces? We are here identifying your core beliefs. Now looking at vision. A vision is on the lofty side of that big idea. Now this is the crucial part in that 
creating a vision is free of boundaries, all boundaries, free of judgment, all judgment on what you want to be and do in your career. What perpetuates your passion in veterinary medicine? Now, Rebecca's vision, my vision, may seem a little strange, possibly funny, but I created this when my children were there in their teens. So this was created 15 years ago, and it still is my driver. My vision is to be a physically fit, spiritually hip granny with time and resources for friends, family, and grandchildren. I passionately lead by example while assisting others to find their groove and fulfill their personal goals and aspirations. Now for a veterinary team example, it could be that you live a sustainable life in that ones that you feel appreciated and valued and that you want to obtain a career within management and possibly a veterinary team lead. Now keep in mind, visions are without boundaries, without being driven by, my boyfriend won't let me, my husband or my significant other is squelching my dreams, I don't have enough money, don't have enough skills, I'm not talented enough. Put all of those aside, bundle that up somewhere else and create a vision that is lofty, that's big, that challenges you. Creating that vision without boundaries in regards to advocating and serving, how do you see yourself serving in the future? Moving on to mission. This is what we do on a daily basis that brings us joy, abundance, resources, financial stability, and connection to the people who most align with you. Doing and being what makes you feel good. This is my example. I build masterful, passionate veterinary teams and coach individuals to offer what is best for the pet, the pet owner, the veterinary team, and the hospital. As an example, for a veterinary team member, it could be advocating for pets and their pet parents while delivering top quality veterinary care and maintaining my own well-being. This is what you do on a daily basis. What is your mission? I'm gonna to read to you a poem from Marianne Williamson. Um, her words lift up our humanity and inspire the greatness that exists in each of us. I first heard this poem when I was with veterinary students during an orientation period and it sent shivers up and down my spine. Here we go. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give our other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Let that sink in, doesn't that feel good? Remember, as we let our own light shine, as we allow for our talents and our skills to reach that highest level, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. You are encouraged to let your light shine. Remember to be bold, be bright, and be courageous, and that you have a kaleidoscope 
scope of colors as veterinary team members, mentors, coaches supporting you. Be sure to reach out to them. Now you are encouraged to join me. I am everywhere in social media. You can find me on Veterinary Teams Living Well and also our Catalyst Veterinary Professional Coaches page. I'm also on LinkedIn, Instagram, and you're encouraged to sign up for our Catalyst Chronicles, which is a bi-monthly e-newsletter. Thank you so much. I'm certain that your handouts and worksheets will help you through this process. Be kind to yourself, take time, and define your values and vision and mission to guide you through your life and career.